This is Autolab. I'm Matt. And I'm Dylan. And this is the Oldsmobile Cutlass. And we're going to take it for a drive. Can't drive it if I can't get in. Come on, Matthew. Matt, look. You, the key. <laughs> Listen to that. That is the sound of American steel. There you go. I'm driving it. This is Autolab. Two guys reviewing cars and filming whatever happens in the process. If you like what you see, subscribe and check out all of our other social media. And a huge thanks to Thornton Automotive for letting us borrow the vehicle for the day. If you need a car for a good price, check out Thornton Automotive. So where are we going for food? I don't know. There we go. Um, Taco Bell? You went for Hispanic like, food? I don't like Taco Bell. I know. Let me walk you through this 1988 Oldsmobile Cutlass that we have here. It is a 3.8 liter V6. And according to what I found online, it's either 141 horsepower or 214 horsepower. So that's helpful. It does zero to 60 in about 8.5 seconds, but that's I've seen not- seen a Prius go faster than that. <laughs> and that has a four cylinder. Yeah. <laughs> and this doesn't do zero to 60 in great gas mileage either. Do you want me to redo that or is that, are we adding that in? We can just keep that. Okay. That's just not fast. But like, it's probably the transmission, honestly. Well, it, okay, so it is a four speed automatic transmission. That's, that's terrible. Um, it needs some more gears, but back then, who cares? 80s, the 80s was the era of excess. I mean, that's and you've got true. a lot of it here. This is a car that doesn't need an engine this size. It's got an ashtray here with a cigarette lighter. Um, and this this car really only appeals to people that will be in a track suit with a gold chain or with curlers in their hair and a nightgown. It's one of the two. It's no in between. That's true. But honestly, I think you and I could both agree. This is, it's a classic car at this point. This is a classic. Uh, now, the Cutlass did actually break a record or set a domestic sales record for affordable luxury affordable luxury and, and that's honestly kind of crazy that's that's a big feat uh and i can see why i mean the first thing i said when i sat in this car is you know the seats are so comfortable they, this is really comfortable you got bench seats for you know various activities but it also has you have a third a pass this can sit six people this can sit six people can it yeah it can sit uh, six and people. i think it has I yeah, there's a seat belt that I'm it sitting does, on here. So, yeah, it's got three seat belts here. I'm not sure what kind of person would fit here in the middle, but uh, I mean, someone... if I hug this door and you hug that door, you can fit at least you could definitely You could definitely fit another person in there. So, you know, the 80s was the era of access, and you've got... Okay, thank you, Matt. Um... It has powered doors. You really see that in its interior styling. You've got carpet on the doors here on the bottom <laughs> and on the top. <laughs> it's just so... It's, it's very 80s. It's very 80s. You've got power windows in this car, which just screams luxury for a car from this time. And Richard Hammond once said that the Americans build a car around the air conditioning unit. And that is true here. This air conditioning unit works better than in my 2019 Mazda. This thing is cold. If I turn it up all the way here, it is freezing. Holy crap. It is freezing cold. It's colder than honestly a lot of newer cars are today. Yeah. The radio still works. Everything in here still works except for that slight problem in the door. That's why you're driving now because I couldn't figure out how to get in. <laughs> this is just a cool car. Uh, it almost makes you want to put hydraulics on it or 40 inch rims. <laughs> yeah honestly that's really like the only two feelings you get from this car well there is a third i mean you do feel like you're being kind of thrown back into the 80s where you're just driving down the road and you can barely see the road in front of you because the headlights oh. were so bad back then it just makes me want to listen to 80s music 
I just think it's funny that everything in this car right now, the, the devices we're using, the cameras, us, none of it was made <laughs> when this when car, this came, car out. came out. <laughs> it really kind of created a pivot point for cars. It, kind it of did. Like. It did. Design for design for cars like this changed entirely in the 80s. I mean, you had in the 70s was the oil crisis, right? Gasoline was, you know, its problem. So economical Japanese cars that were smaller were getting more popular, and the American brands had to start catching up, and this was one of the cars that pivoted there. Are you sure this has a V6? It has a V6, but you gotta think that cars in the 70s were rocking V8s, and they were much bigger than this. This is when they started to cut down in size. They were. They started cutting down in size. They started giving you a lot of really nice things like the AC. I mean, you do have a full infotainment system in here from that time. You can yeah. control the trouble. You can control the base. You can throw a cassette deck in here, and you it's can got, still listen to everything. And it's it got a has digital clock. A digital clock for back then as well. That's crazy. Um, this one specifically has been really kept well. Uh, it was owned by a little old lady. You know, who better to own a car like this? Bought it uh, brand new, and it kind of went through her entire family. Yeah, and it's got 64,000 miles on it. So we're, we're, we're rocking right now. Uh, this car specifically, too, has digital lights, too, for, uh, you know, check engine, coolant level, all of that stuff. So that's, <laughs> honestly, for the time, is insane. Yeah. Plenty of space in the back, too. I'm surprised at how good this car is for its time. Yeah. I mean, this has about the same features as a brand new Honda Civic. A base level. Or a ba yeah, a base level Honda Civic. A the base level Honda Civic, yeah. I mean, actually, yeah, because on the base level Honda Civic, you don't even really... Besides, you know, you have the cassette deck, you have Bluetooth nowadays. <laughs> and that's about it. I want to apologize just real quick in the middle of this conversation about the shakiness of our cameras. Yeah, uh, like we said before, the suspension is <laughs> not... You said you didn't want to go up on the highway. I'm not up on the highway. This is Route 30. This is basically the highway. Yeah, but the speed limit here is 40 instead of whatever the hell. Where are we going to eat? Dude, I don't know. Wow, the cigarette lighter does work. Yeah, I know it does. I tested it. I don't know why I just smelled it. Um, here's your little ashtray. You can take it out, obviously, to clean it. Back when smoking was healthy for you. <laughs> Back, when <laughs> Back when the doctor said, oh, just smoke a cigarette, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, it does work. Yeah. Sweet. That's really all I was trying to get it to do. Now, I will say uh, the throttle is very stiff in this. Oh, there's a Chinese buffet over here. Me and Dylan were on our way to get lunch. Obviously, I was too distracted by being hungry that I couldn't focus on the car. But that raised its own question. How good would this car fit into our own personal daily routine? <clears throat> Not sponsored. It actually works pretty good. All right, so Dylan's out of the driver's seat. Oh my God, this throttle. Yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty stiff. <laughs> this is the weirdest car that car I have ever driven. Oh man, this feels nothing Different. like any car today. Yeah. Oh my God, where are the brakes? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the power steering in this car, I feel like I can literally drive it with one finger. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> oh, man. There is no power to this thing at all, though. Oh, man. And the brakes, they feel like I'm just stepping on a brick. Yeah. I just went down here to grab the shifter. There's nothing here. It's a seat. 
It's a seat, and there could be a whole ass person right there. An entire person could fit there. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> it's a weird car. Makes you want to buy it. It does. It makes <laughs> you want to buy it, and not a way to like daily drive it, but to literally put antique plates on the back of it and just drive it on the weekends. Driving this car made me excited for our ideas of getting old cars and taking them across the country. It makes me feel like I lost my son, Will Byers. Where are you? Got, uh... Oh, so that's where that went. Yeah. You know what's weird, though? Is there's no rattles. No rattles at all. There are no rattles. It's probably because everything is carpet. You have no plastic trim anywhere besides the dash. Nothing rattles. It's probably all the rattling is condensed by the uh, carpet on the doors. Honestly. And because everything's covered in carpet, it's actually kind of quiet in here. There's really not a lot of road noise. Yeah. There's a sort of unnatural feeling about being able to see the driver's feet. From a passenger? From the passenger side. It is a little weird. It's, but it's, it's, it's like a sense of openness, right? The inside of this car feels very open, and it's because you just got a dash, big opening here, bench seat, and then bench in the back. I know, and that's what's great about this car is that you can literally just drive anywhere with your friends. All like, six of them. All, all, all six, yeah, all one of them. <laughs> the, uh... Passenger mirror doesn't that work. That we, broken. we haven't mentioned work. that. The passenger mirror doesn't work. <clears throat> now this car flat out will supposedly do 140. I There's don't think it no will. No way. I don't think it will. This does not do 140. This won't make it. This does 40, <laughs> not 100. I mean, let's see. Wow, that's flat. There's 40. <laughs> but it's already lost its phone. It, that's kilometers! <laughs> it, it, it is doing 60 kilometers an hour. No, like the dash at max goes to 140 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Like, Online this, it said it would do 145. There's no, there's no there's I don't no think way. so. <clears throat> you know, right now we're so conditioned to the way cars are. Especially yeah. us being... A, you know, I mean, we're in our 20s, but we're still a little younger. Uh, and, and we're used to the cars of modern age. Yeah, where you get in, press a button, it pretty much does almost everything. Exactly. And this is almost like a reconditioning of of, of our thoughts on on the automobile. This is, yeah. this is reshaping the way that we feel a car is. Yeah, this car is different, and it makes it... The thing is, though, this car really isn't even different. This is like... I don't know if I'd say like a Mercedes of back then, because there were Mercedes back then. I mean, this no, is, this was this was a luxury car back then, though. This was. This is this is a luxury thing. Yeah, I mean, this was yeah, it was a luxury car, but it was an affordable luxury car. So it was like the the Honda Accord. In essence, it was like the Honda Accord. Back then. Yeah, and you can kind of capture that because everything feels luxury. Yeah. The seats are very comfortable. It's honestly more comfortable than a lot of cars I've been in. More comfortable than my car, I'll say that. And it... It's nice, honestly. Like I said, this is unquestionably American. And that's not a bad thing. You can tell what the speed limit was back then. Because they marked 55. It's the only halfway mark that they marked. That's really interesting, actually. It's like, 55, that's all this thing can do. It's probably because of the song. Summer of... Yeah, that's the wrong song. Wrong song. <laughs> can drive 55! That one. What is this thing? What thing? This one. That's the one that adjusts, adjusts the steering wheel. What? Yeah, dude. You can adjust the steering wheel? I showed you thing? that when we got in. I forgot. Now this is the hazards, but I can't for the life of me figure out how they work. There's a 
hole in there, man. If I put a can? I don't know. It's interesting seeing cars pull away from me when we are leaving a stoplight. Yeah, this doesn't happen very often, does it? Even though I'm flat out yeah. in a car. Yeah, and there they are, they are... Like, probably cordal, th cordal throttle. Cordal throttle, probably, if, if that. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, this car is nostalgic. It is, like I said, it's a reconditioning of the way that we see a car. Yeah. Uh, you know, because it throws us back to the way that they were before us, before our time. Yeah. It does. Okay. I'm surprised that everything in this car works. Yeah, everything works. I mean, you've got air conditioning that works. You've got a radio that works. Power windows, every single yeah. one of them works. Power locks, they work. But All the, three horn buttons, they work. They all work. Like, this, <laughs> this car, it makes me just want to... Roll all the windows down, drive down Route 66, smoking a cigarette. I'm going yeah. to the casinos in Las Vegas. Yeah, and the cigarette would be healthy because it was the 80s. Exactly. I don't know what they did since then, but now it just causes cancer. No, no, no. I, I think it caused cancer before. I just think they didn't know. <gasps> yeah, I think that like when cigarettes, yeah, I just think they didn't know it caused cancer. They didn't connect the dots. Oh. Yeah, they've always caused cancer, man. Uh, cigarette jokes aside, let's uh, pull over and talk about the exterior. Let's do it. You know, this car is great. It is. Besides me not being able to get in or out of the car, it's fine. Well, that's an easy fix, though. Relatively. I mean, at least there's no center console, so you can just get in the passenger side and climb over. You can, and two other people can join you in the front. And if technically... You have the friends, yeah. But... Technically, if you go by 1980s rules, you can also have a baby in the front, too, as well. Uh, that's a little dangerous. The, the rules might have changed since then a little bit. Yeah, just like to change the laws on smoking. That's true. I mean, I just love the look of this car. Are you sure it caused cancer back then? Yes, I'm positive it caused cancer. Back to the car. I love the look of this car. Um, you know, one thing too is body color bumpers, which back then, that meant you were at a higher esteem. That meant you were better than the rest of the people on the road. I'm surprised it's plastic. It, it, everything else. Well, you know what? I'm actually surprised about that, too, because back then it would have been metal. Most of them would have been metal. Yeah, most of them were just, like, chrome metal. Yeah. But body color was a big deal back then for the bumpers. You could run over a cone in this thing, and this thing's not going to take a scratch. This would destroy the cone. It would. You could crash into something, and your car would be completely fine. One of the best things about this car, though, is that for under five grand, you get all of this glamour, all of the luxury... In this package. <laughs> You're right. And honestly, it's not a bad car. It's really not. It's withstood the, the test of time, that's for sure. I mean, this thing's older than I am, and it runs better than I do. That's true. This thing doesn't have a bad back. Very accurate. Everything here works. My knees pop when I stand up. So, you know, that's, that should say something. At least you're faster than this. <laughs> am I? <laughs> I might. You get to five miles an hour faster. I'm going to try not to take offense there. Well, this, I don't know. I love it. I really do. I mean, I'm sure you feel the same way about this. This brought nothing but joy to me the entire time we were driving. Honestly, I can agree with you. And it's old. It is. And that's one of the best things about it. Tell us what you think. I'm sure that someone in your family at some point has owned an Oldsmobile Cutlass, given that they broke a freaking record back in the 80s. Yes, it's, it's very possible. And, uh... This is Autolab. Thank you for watching.